Are you stuck with Amazon error code 8566? Well, don't worry. There is a pretty simple solve here, even though it might seem not too easy to understand at the very start. Hey, I'm Noah. I'm with my Amazon guy, and we're going to solve this error code for you in less than five minutes, or at least try to help you understand why you're getting in the first place. So if you've been stuck with error code 8566, there's a couple of pretty easy reasons. First off, what is error code 8566? Well, this error code is part of the 8000 series of error codes, which means that there are actually multiple reasons that it could be affecting you. Reason number one is that you do not have enough sales history with Amazon yet. What this means and typically what is going to be happening is you're going to be trying to upload more products into your catalog than you're actually allowed to. Amazon reserves the right to throttle the number of items that you can have in your catalog at any given time. So if you're a brand new seller and you're trying to upload a thousand plus different items, Amazon is going to probably throttle you and hit you with this error code saying that you can't upload any more items. It's unfortunate, but it is one of the things that happens on Amazon. What is this solve in this scenario? Solve is pretty simple. Solve is that you're actually just going to have to get more sales on the platform. <laughs> it's not probably the solve you want to hear, but unfortunately it is the case on Amazon where they will just not let you sell anything else until you have more sales. This is to stop people like drop shippers who are just going to go to some random site, upload 10,000 different items, and then see what sticks and what actually is going to be selling. Now, let's say that that's not your issue. Again, that's just one of the many reasons that 8566 can be happening. Another one here would be uh, feed file contains standard product ID that is not affiliated with SMID brand name. So what does this exactly mean? So what this typically means is that when you're looking at a product, so we'll take this one for instance, you can see the brand name Age of Sage. Now, this means that our product ID, so our external product ID, which is a UPC here for our UPC, is connected directly to Age of Sage. So if I were to try and upload a flat file of some kind that had this UPC and this ASIN together, but I had, instead of Age of Sage, I had uh, man-made creations, right? Just some random brand name I came up with. Uh, it would not allow and it would hit us again with this 8566 error code. So when you are going to upload your flat file, your feed file of some kind, you need to make sure you have the correct brand name associated with the UPCs. This also goes for products that don't actually have a brand associated or brand registry associated. And on top of that, ensure that your UPCs are actually GS1 certified. You Again, this is going to be one of the biggest things. If you have random UPCs that you have purchased online somewhere at some point in time, you're going to run into a major issue when it comes to actually having the correct UPC on the correct ASIN with the correct brand name. Likely someone else already owns that UPC or has used it for another product. So make sure that when you're going through, you have the right UPC, you have the right brand name, you have the right ASIN, and it should relieve this error code. That is if you have the secondary portion. Now, if you have the first portion, again, your big thing is just going to be getting more uh, sales. This is evaluated every single week, as you can see here. So if you are facing this 8566 error code, just go ahead, make sure to try and get as many sales as possible. And hopefully a week or two goes by and you'll be able to add a product. I would try and add only one product every single time you are uploading a flat file for this specific error. That is because Amazon is going to throttle you for how many you can upload at once and how many you can actually have in your platform all at the same time. So hopefully this short, short video gave you a little bit of insight as to how to actually solve these error codes. Again, these aren't huge solves, but they are going to give you some more insights into how to actually solve your grander problem outside of just this error code. Just make sure get more sales for the first issue if that's what it is. And then the secondary issue, just make sure all of your UPC, ASIN, and brand name uh, items match up. Just like that, error code 8566 is solved. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and drop us a like, a subscribe. We'll be posting more videos like this all the time.